get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think all the time how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven it's like so hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Joyce here and you are welcome and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back thank you for the love thank you for the support I'm grateful so guys in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix your nails from the scratch this is no stick on nails this is you fixing your nails styling it doing everything you know all the good stuff to your nails from the scratch so if this sounds like something you're interested in you definitely need to keep watching okay 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 so what I'm actually doing now is like getting the size to fit my fingers or my nails yes my fingernails and just putting them aside so I'll use the num the same numbers to get both to get the size for both fingers for both hands for all 10 fingers you get me right okay yes i'm sure you do okay guys so that's what i'm doing and now i'm done i'm just setting aside putting aside the ones i do not need and you know i'm just going to start yes so guys i'm checking and making sure it fits my nails my fingers properly my fingers my nails yes it fits i'm just checking to be sure it fits properly and well it doesn't so i just have to like file it curve it so you know it looks like it's in the same shape as my actual fingernails understand yes you do i should hope so okay guys so as you can see i'm just trying to like you know make sure it's properly done and now i'm filing the top of the nails and the reason I do that, I don't know if any other person does it, but that's how I do it. The reason I do that is because I want the nails to look as real as possible. So the top part is really flat, like almost like my my real nails, and well, it's not obviously, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm filing it down to make it really flat. So I'm still going back filing just to make it really flat you guys so that's all I'm doing So you guys, I'm about to fix it now and with my glue, I'm just going to apply my glue. I like applying my glue and spreading it. Like I apply just a little then I just use the um, glue to like the mouth of the glue to like spread it so it like sticks properly. So I'm just going to go on to the next and you know do the same thing like file the sides, like curve it, file the top part. Like I said, to make it look as natural as possible. It still won't look all, all natural because of, of course I'll be doing it myself or I'm doing it myself so it won't. So at this point I realized that mm, it would be better for me to like do all the filing of all 10 nails. So when it's time to fix the next one, the next one I won't have to file then, you know, install and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing here, filing all the nails so it will be prepared for when i fix or when it's time to glue in the next one tell me why you want to end was he really just a friend because it's playing in my head every word that you said i ain't worked it out yet so why do you want to end was it real or just pretend if there was any sign 
that our love was in decline I would have begged you not to go I would have given even more My heart is breaking up inside Can't believe our love has died Yes, it's out of my control Why do you want to end? So the same thing I did with the first one is the same process I'm going to continue right now. But yes, I'm going to like use my buffer to like make the surface really, um, um, I don't know the words, rough. Yes, make it rough so the glue and the nail will, st the nail will stick properly, like stick really, really hard. Because if it's like a smooth surface, it won't really stick like you want it. So yes that's i'm just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again until i'm done with all 10 fingers that's all i'll be doing and i'm pressing it down so well it's glusing so i usually press it down for like say five seconds or so just for it to glue properly and you know because i want it to last all these efforts and everything and it won't last ah i'll cry that's if i even let it to last eh? okay you guys as you can see i'm going about the same thing and doing it so at this point i already did like the buffer like filed my actual nails like i said because of the rough because i needed a rough surface to fix the nails so it's already all filed so in case you don't see me doing that is because i already did it off camera i don't know if i okay i think i did it on camera but i had to cut it off because i do not want the video to be very 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 too long if that makes sense okay guys so as you can see that's all that's all i'm doing the same thing we hold each other high but we fall a thousand times but i never say goodbye or ever leave this stuff behind when it's gone so you guys, I'm done gluing it in and I'm just going to cut it. Bah, 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 bah. I want it long because I kind of feel like if it's not long, it won't really look all nice and flashy and you know, whatnot. So yes, that's it. So I'm on to the next and I'm just going to go in like the same process and you know the right fingers or the right, it's always the most difficult one. So. Do not expect that one to look as nice as the left. You understand? Yeah. So I'm just going doing the same thing I did for the others, and I'm just going to be doing it. And oh, that's it. So you guys, normally I wouldn't show me um, fixing the um, right uh, fingers, but I just feel some people will say, "Oh, you do the um, left one on camera, and you have someone do the left, one, the right one, blah blah blah." So well, but for some people that think maybe that would think, "Oh, it's not me doing it. That's why I'm posting it." Normally I wouldn't because it saves time and all that. But well, yes, I'm posting it for the naysayers or the whatever you want to call them sha yeah so i did it myself everything you guys so what i'm doing now is i'm going to cut the the style i want is this um pointed tiny triangle sharp edge whatever it's called i don't know but that's the style the pattern i want so that's why i'm cutting it like so so i'm cutting the edges the sides just so when i just so it's not it doesn't the filing doesn't take too long even though it's still too long it still took too long after cutting it or well if i didn't cut it it would have taken much 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 longer <laughs> okay you guys that's that's it so i'm just cutting and you know Start and fight, turn and 
truth to lies Gotta get up, stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly And I tell myself it's fine to be Honestly, guys, the right side is always the most difficult thing to do or the most difficult sides to do. But yeah, I did it anyway with so much trouble. So you guys, I'm just filing it now. So I'm filing both sides like just... I'm just covering it, filing it in... Anyhow, sure you can see me file it that way. So if you're doing it, you have to file it this way. If this is the shape you want, I think you can also file it this way for the other. There's another pattern that is almost like this, but not like this, not sharp. So you can also do the same pattern, the same filing pattern for that same pattern. If you understand me, I'm sure you know. Like that pattern I'm talking about, the tip is not sharp it's um straight any asha for people that fix their nails or make their nails often they know what i'm talking about so yes guys i'm filing and this is like the most stressful the most time consuming parts of this video like it's so stressful So yes, I'm just going in again just to make sure I get that. And when doing this, you have to take it inside. So it will give you that beautiful, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to describe it, but make sure you, as you can see, ah, it's already coming out nice. Oh my goodness. So I'm on the right side and I'm just doing the same thing, like the same thing I did before. So, well so it's the same thing like i said I, I wouldn't be showing this but for the naysayers i'll show it so yes guys that's it see see this thing is difficult this thing is not easy it's not easy honestly if i could i would have someone actually fix the right side for me but i can't i can't so you guys, the reason I'm using like the cotton wool with the nail dissolver because I already put a nail dissolver on the cotton wool is just so the um, so it will make the nail a bit soft, like it will melt it a bit and make it easy for me to file it down the top part because like I said, I want it to look as natural as it can get. So yes, that's why I'm that's why I'm doing that. Well, okay, that's why I did that initially. But now that I'm done, I just did it to clean and, you know. So now I'm applying glue because I want it to stay for, I want it to last long. So that's what I'm going to do. Apply the glue. And yeah, I'm done with that. And I'm just going to use my cuticle to clean and make it look all nice. Like I went to a proper nail stylist or nail whatever to get it done. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And yes, I'm done with that. And I'm just applying my Adna. That's what they call it. First, on to like, just, I don't even know. Okay, I think they add Adna for it to be smooth, for the surface to be smooth before you apply the actual polish, the color you want. So that's what I'm doing right there. Add it. So I'm just doing it for both sides. And now I'm applying my nail polish, my desired colors. I had to choose between all those colors on the table and I picked this. I hope you like it, Sha. So yes. So I'm doing. Polish and polish and polish and polish and so I'm using that um what 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 is it cutting board yes to just clean the sides because I don't want my other fingers to touch the nail dissolver because it will ruin my nails if you understand yeah so 
you in the right side now. So I'm going to add the um, Adnar again. Please, you guys, what's the actual name for this? Is it actually called Adna or what? I don't know. Please tell me. Leave a comment down below. And you guys, that's the nail polish I used. I bought it from Miniso for like, I think, 300 or so or 250 I can't remember. It's really nice. I like it. I love it. It's beautiful. I think I showed this for too long. Oh, never mind. So, guys, we're done. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was useful to you or if this video is useful to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified when next I post a video. Thank you so much. Bye.